Okay, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this deck later on for our first deck of the day, which is going to be Bant Legend. So um, as you can tell by the uh, deck list up here in the top left-hand corner, we're going to have a Legendary Sunday today. We are playing um, four different Legendary decks. The reason why I'm calling these decks Legendary decks is because we're, we have them built around our Legendary Sorceries in the different colors. Uh, with this one being Bant, the two that I am playing are Kamal's Druidic Vow and Urza's Ruinous Blast, similar to the Naya Legends deck that um, you've probably seen me play before. Um, this deck in particular is much more of a Kamal's Druidic Vow. Not only we're playing a third copy because this five mana slot is filled. Lots of uh, great hits um, at five mana here. Um, and so we really wanted to Kamal's Druidic Vow for five. Uh, in this deck, you know, similar to Nia Legends. Um, the thing about this deck, as opposed to Nia Legends, we don't have as good of early game. Um, Nia has a lot more three mana legendary cards uh, than what we have here in Bant. Um, so I'm, I'm playing some growth, growth spirals to try to just uh, get to four and five mana a lot faster. Um, yeah, question is, what's the isolates in the sideboard for? Uh, it's for the, so isolate is for the aggro decks. Um, Specifically, like Mono Blue, it's really good, um, being like a, a cheap interaction for their one mana creatures against Mono Blue. But also, Mono White has the one mana creatures. Mono Red has one mana creatures. Um, so it's uh, even is it Drakes if they're playing Terramander, going to bring it in there. Um, but yeah, for the most part, Mono Blue because Mono Blue when you're playing like all of these five mana cards, Mono Blue is going to be a difficult deck to beat. So kind of have a little bit extra sideboard against them. We got some Neza Halls at the top against Control. Hey, Matthew. Yeah, so Karn's Temporal Sundering is the blue one. Um, don't have any of those in here. Um, you know, have to cut it down to, to 60, and so that's one of the, the cards that got cut. Hey, Dutch. Yeah, it's, Sunday's starting off pretty good, and yeah, I understand that. Uh, Wanting today to be the unwind and relaxation day before heading on back to work tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, our five mana slot is nuts. So, um, Incubation Druid is like an option instead of Grow Spiral, but Urza's Ruinous Blast would exile the Incubation Druids, and so I'm just playing the Grow Spirals instead. All right, here we go. Yeah, there is one for every color. Um, the blue one and the red one are the two that I use the least of. Um, Karn's Temporal Sundering and Jaya's Immolating Inferno. Hmm. If I just go basic forest, Land War Elf, then I have to shock to play Amara. I could just shock immediately. And then we know the Glacial Fortress comes in. Might as well just shock next turn. Um, I keep hearing my competition in my neighborhood every day, but honestly, that's a good thing. My neighborhood has a few kids, but not enough to visit every single day. It means he's new, doesn't know where all the kids are yet. And can't wait to start my own ice cream truck in. Yeah, not the wrong competition. Usually brings the best out of you. <laughs> hey, what's up, Two Nails? Yeah, we're playing Amara and Tezzeret. You don't usually see the soul of the Accord and the Artifice Master uh, going side by side, but we got it here. All right, is that better? Um, as far as I know, like the all the settings should be the same. They always are. But, but yeah, I guess maybe the music was a little loud, so that should hopefully be better. 
Awesome. Thanks, King Toll. Picked up the Golgari Graveyard deck and paper. Um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't, um, I haven't touched it since that last time playing it. I don't know exactly what to do for like the extra bump for aggro decks in the board. It's also I, I didn't draw like the most important card against aggro decks. Um, of course, is that Crow Foragers, and I didn't draw the Crow Foragers. That deck, that Golgari Graveyard deck, is one that I think is pretty strong. Um, that was actually one that I've been looking at. I want to play that deck again. Maybe I'll play that one tomorrow. Because um, I do want to try that out again. I think we got a little unlucky with that one overall. <laughs> yep, we got the theme going on for tonight. All right, just a second. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to help Hawkeye. Really? You're going to... With his lightning, a one one? Uh, another five drop. What a surprise. Our deck filled with five drops. Um, Hawkeye has like little, you know, I, I give him like little bowls that I feed it, that he gets his, his food in. Uh, not like dry food and can, canned food. Um, and he'll like eat it and mush the food into like the, you know, like the corners of the bowl and then not be able to, and then like be trying to scoop it up and just not, and it doesn't work and So I helped him out a little bit there. Uh, next 12-hour stream is going to be soon. I still owe another 12-hour stream. Um, I was thinking about today. Uh, um, but I need a, just a couple more days of just getting back into like the streaming habit and getting after after those three days off. Um, I need to get back into like streaming shape and everything to go another 12 hours. Wow. Skewer and strike. That's kind of rough. Jarveen, welcome to the channel. Thanks for getting that sub in. First of the day. Um... What's their plan with for these? They just didn't even cast the skewer. Are they planning on using both of those burn spells to kill Lyra next turn? Because it's not going to work. I mean, I guess it could work if they attack with Lava Runner first. Um. Basically, I'm not sure if I want to like attack and then play a new Lyra. Because then, if I do that, if I like, attack for five, play new Lyra. If they like kill this Lyra, that could certainly be a problem for me. Let's wait a turn. I'm going to wait a turn until these are gone. I'm going to do that next turn. I'm going to first just start I getting some 1-1s one out here. I think next turn... Simon83, welcome to the channel. So now, do I attack or not attack? If I attack, I go to 15. They can potentially do three, like six, seven, eight, nine, ten to me. All right, we'll attack. Hey, we got another sub. Jolner, getting on the SS hype as well. <laughs> Don't not unattack. 
All right, so opponent getting stuck at two lands. Uh, didn't have enough mana. Um, yep, the attack totally won the matchup. All right, let's get Lyra. Uh, Shalai, these Isolates, these Knight of Autumns, and this Tristani. I, I really don't mind Negate either. Um, I'm going to take out the two Tezzerets, take out the... Mm, yeah, we can take out the Vivian uh, and the Teferis and the Ruinous Blasts. Just kind of cut down on my fives a ton. I don't know. Karn's not very good. Teferi and Vivian are both better than Karn, right? Trim one vow. Get these Teferis back in here. Take these Karns out. Play a negate. Maybe play two negates, one Teferi. Hmm. Do I even play Teferi or do I just play a third negate? I want to, like, have an, enough answers for Experimental Frenzy if they have it. Right now, I just have, like, the two Knight of Autumns, and then Teferi can also kind of answer it. I know Vivian can, but I, I think Teferi's better than Vivian. I'm going to play one, one Teferi, two Negates. Um, I think the best of my Legend decks right now is the Naya Legends, but uh, this is the first time playing Bant and Esper. This is my first time playing like this Bant list uh, in this format, um, and it'll be my very first time playing Esper also. So I, I had the Bant deck was made uh, previously in the um, old format, but you know it's got some updates and everything here. Um, so I can't say for sure because you know like got some new some new decks. Sure. I hope they play some kind of spell on turn two. Or I guess their turn three, I suppose. Well, good news is they don't have many cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cards, so they mold to five. That's good news. You know, we're on a mold to six, so it's it's not like our opponent's like that far behind. They have starting off with one less card than us. Yeah, when is Captain Marvel coming out? It's this week. Yeah, I bet that movie's gonna be awesome. Why do I have a plus sign on my cursor? See my cursors here? There's like a plus sign on there. What's that about? You have your doubts? <laughs> plus is for positive attitude. Okay, I like it. Oh yeah, Hawkeye's getting a, a real good paycheck for his work at the Captain Marvel movies. It's the reason why... I am able to stream full time is is only because of because of uh, Hawkeye. Whatever your plans, they're statistically likely I to can benefit from another's success. Okay. Come here. You done eating your lunch? These results are an anomaly, not to be repeated. Hey, buddy. Ugh. All right, well, Dovin trades for two cards. Wow. Wow. That's aggressive. After blocking. Da, 
dun, dun, dun. Okay, you're knocking stuff over. I know, you're, you're still great. All right, let's draw one of our Lyras, or Tristanis, or Shalais. Uh-oh. That card's a real big problem. Maybe I should have just grow spiraled first before playing Dovin and had like Dovin plus Negate available. Alright, so Negate didn't do anything. Let's get this other Teferi back in here on the play. Let's try to draw some of our top end this time. Yeah, we haven't played Gates in a long time. I kind of, like, you know, Gates has gotten to be just a, a somewhat popular deck, just kind of overall. Um, but, you know, as, as you know, I've had, like, my own version that I played with it. Um, that's certainly another deck that we can, uh, hmm, go back and retry again. Man, if we only had green mana, just too risky to keep that. Come on, deck. Why do you do this? I mean, Knight of Autumn, Shalai, Tristani is an awesome curve. We have to assume the land of War Elfs dies. So we have to draw two lands just to get to Knight of Autumn, then a third land, then a fourth land. It's probably just, it's probably just better to go to five, honestly. Yeah, these hands are pretty bad. We're a 26 land deck. Lots of lands, of course. Especially these grow spirals and everything. I want to have lots of lands. Alright, now we need blue mana. Yeah, I've had some bad hands, okay. This is a sad ending. Der. You know, I think we drew the we drew the gr growth spiral. I think that was our only draw step last game. That was that was not a land. And now this mold of five. Alright, not bad, not bad. Hey, what's up, Yud? Everything's going good here. Looks 
Except for our uh, our hands and stuff. And not so good. But I mean, our opponent has three cards. We have two. Like we look kind of even. The problem is, is like you know, gutter snipe and a bunch of burn spells. Like we're pretty dead to that. We need to not only draw land, but then after drawing land, we have to draw Shalai, Lyra, Tristani. So we have to get pretty fortunate here. Um, we've missed land drops, uh, so the opponent probably has two, so I don't think our opponent's just sitting with a bunch of lands in hand. I would like them to have a bunch of lands in hand, but I don't think they do. It's a good card. Just rubbing Hawkeye's ear against the table, he loves it. Burn real loudly. Yeah, that's a land. I want them just to draw a bunch of lands. But assuming both cards in their hand are spells though. I'll take the trade. Ugh, another light up. Our opponent's playing really slow. Definitely worthwhile to spend uh, wild cards on lands. Absolutely, lands are important to have. I like doing this main phase in case we draw that card right there, Land of War Elf. Um, let's just play the Land of War Elf. You know, if I just kind of like, if I would have just waited with the Grow Spiral, we wouldn't be able to play the Land of War Elf. Now, the elf, of course, likely dies to, like, Firebrand or something. Um, but it's, you know, it's good to at least play it. Oh, nice, Dutch. Yeah, you should create, especially with Arena here, it's free to free to make an account and everything. Um, yeah, you should. Yeah, absolutely, Yudden. Yeah, I can play, I can, yeah, absolutely. I'm real flexible. All right, we are not gonna win this. But it's going to be another like 20 minutes for how slow our opponent's playing. <laughs> yeah, right? Can the opponent get a slow play infraction, please? At least a warning.
These results yeah, are very an anomaly, dead. not to be or repeated. Mold of five and only have three lands. Not good. All their things will deal uh, plus two damage because of Flame of Keld here. Real disappointing game. Um, that second game in particular, you know, we just could only draw lands and then that, that mold of five. Uh, some bad hands. Unfortunately, so let's try again. Well, at least this time, at least this time we'll have like as Canton turn two. Um, to help smooth our draws out. So, I like that. Yeah. Yeah, you get you get used to losing a bunch with Magic. You get used to just, you know, games like that and everything. Get used to the disappointment. I'll keep the Tatiova. That's a good card to play next turn. It's a fine card to play, at least. Thanks, Meta Entropy. Thanks for the kind words. So there, this looks to be like a Drake's deck, right? And Blast is awesome against Drake's. So we're going to kind of assume it's a Drake deck and keep that card. It is best to play Tatiova when you have, like, like the following turn, when, I, when you can play Tatiova, play a land immediately, draw a card, um, get the value immediately, but I am going to just go ahead and throw it down here. Yeah, it could be Grixis Control, I suppose. Alright, good, no Lava Coil. Um, yeah, it's a fine card. Is this card any good against Drakes, though? Hmm. Maybe just go graveyard. That card's pretty good against Drakes. Um, so I was planning, if we just drew another land there, I would have, uh, I would have, um, just Druidic Vow for four, even though, you know, like, five is, like, the number that we really want a Druidic Vow, uh, just to, like, you know, see if, like, the top four cards, if any of them are lands, that we draw more cards off Tatiova. Just, and, you know, just to kind of do something. Uh, getting the Tezzeret certainly good, though. Um, that thing's legendary. That's a problem. Yeah, that thing's legendary and a problem. Why can't this just be one other card down? Why does it have to be the top card? We need to find, like, Vivian, Teferi, cards like that. So I just put it in the graveyard. No, I haven't tried the Cascade event at all. Um, I'll just go enters tapped. You have been analyzed and found. Ah, uh, that was the card that I was thinking about. Of like, I could have shocked and had growth spiral available. I made you a gift. I'm inspired by a good assault.
Yeah, we're doing some cool stuff over here, but Niv is kind of ridiculous. Right. Thankfully, our opponent's already gone through two charter courses. Did they, did they just have fiery cannonade? What are they doing with all these two toughness? They just have a bunch of shocks. Ugh. Anything but Niv. We could, you know, with our Urza's Ruinous Blast, we had everything else in their deck. All the other Drakes, you know, they could have had, yeah, I would, they could have as many Drakes as they want, but just Niv. It's a little too good. At least we'll probably be able to flip our, our ass cancer next Nobody's turn. Perfect. Um, with all the with all of our stuff dying. Man, they just have infinite one mana spells. That's their third opt. They just have three ops and a shock. These results are an anomaly. Just everything one mana divinations plus ping. Ugh. You'll regret this. Still have nine cards in hand because all these cards are just drawn multiple. Five mana, five spells. Nonsense. Just had three shocks and three ops. I'm not finished with you. This isn't a fight you can win. All right, it's going to game two. Niv's the like the one card in their deck. I have not. I have nothing for. You know, I have one Vivian, two Teferis. That's really it. Yeah, I can't. If my opponent does that same thing, I'm not going to do. It. I'm not going to be able to do anything about it unless we hit our Vivian or Teferi's earlier. Um, don't really know what to sideboard. I'll play a couple Neza Halls. Amaro's not very good against the deck with all shocks. So, um, 
Just gonna kind of put in some bigger heavy hitters. And kind of hope it works out. Yeah, what's up, Dave? Um, we don't need double blue. Like, we don't need the ability for double blue next turn. We'll just get the other Temple Guard in play. Ah, I got Night Shift for the week. Cool. This Cant is in there. Graveyard. Card is pretty good though. Whatever your plans, they're statistically likely to fail. This is just a small example of my genius. I didn't bring in more Urza's Ruinous Blast. That's your best. I needn't worry. Um. Don't really love Shalai against the uh, the Lava Coil deck. Blood pumping. So just kind of working towards getting the Ascanta flipped. Um, the Tezzeret getting countered is quite bad for me. But at least they don't have too much of a clock right now. And we got five in the graveyard right now. So next turn we can flip Ascanta potentially. With it being six. With a six right now. If this gets countered, seven. I will defend my allies. Are you certain of your decision? Every shock. Both games have had three shocks. So that is our seventh card. So as can't just flip in no matter what. That's the good news. I guess I'm not going to flip it this turn. Since I'm just playing the, the Nezahal. Um, and so I have, I have no use for the, that extra one mana this turn. So I'll just keep it like this so I can... So next turn I can... Uh, um, uh, you know, like, take a look at the top card again. It is a good one, though. Hmm. Yeah, like surveils one. Yeah. You're on top of the surveil one. 
I know my responsibility. So if they dive down it, we get to draw a card. Blast is a good draw. Get that thing out of here. Unfortunately, Nezahal is not... Um, it's not as good as Niv-Mizzet. We don't get to... Wow. Now what? I was not expecting that at all. Wow. I guess I need to keep another land in my hand. Hey, Tapped Out Net, thanks for the host. Welcome everybody from Tapped Out Net's stream. We are currently playing um, Bant Legends right now. We're not doing so good at like the whole legendary thing. We're doing pretty good at the, the whole land thing though. Hmm. Man, that Star of Extinction took out everything. Took out my Tef Teferi, the Nezahal, my Azkanta. Yeah, Star is really, really savage against our decks. I cannot, you cannot cast Kamal's, I can't cast Kamal's Juridicao. All right, well, those two, those are two really quick and pretty crappy games. You know, we got plenty of time. Let's try it again. So let's go ahead and restart here. Start over after that 0-2. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and run it back. Um, see if we can do a little better. Yeah, just hit that restart button. New league. Hey, Dark Phoenix. Everything's going well. Thanks. Glad to have you here. I uh, will take it. That's what we need right now, our lands. I like having this Rafka passion that we get to uh, flash in um, to kind of make it more difficult for opponent to uh, counter things they may want to counter. Stop. No. Untap. Play the land. Thank you. Yeah, first match of the day right here. So yeah, they, they do counter this, which means that, you know, they're countering it on their turn. So we get to untap with them only having the one mana available and resolve this here, Vivian. I should play the Breeding Pool. Just have, just have two blue mana in case we draw like a Tesseract. The wild animals I like. People, not so much. Vivian's not as good in this deck. We don't have like a ton of creatures in this deck. Um, Vivian's kind of here for like the minus against uh, decks like Drake's if we ever would play against like a Drake deck for an example. Um, so there's only the one copy of Vivian. Yep, let's go Tatiova into land. If our opponent just passed the turn and, and didn't tap out, then I, I would have played the Lyra. I 
I know that Blast can exile the Eldest Reborn, but that does... It's it's not, like, really that likely to happen with us, like, untapping with Tatiova and, and that resolving and all that kind of stuff. Um... Just get rid of that. I don't want to. I don't want to ditch Lyra because Lyra could be like a huge problem for us to to face for the third chapter of Eldest Reborn, if the Urza Zarunus Blast would get uh, countered. Um, so I'm gonna kind of just assume that my opponent's gonna be able to have Vivian. No, Blast can get reborn. Yeah, reborn's not not a legendary permanent. You can have multiple re reborns on the battlefield. So the problem with playing any of these is that my opponent can counter any of these cards um, and then they get these cards back with Eldest Reborn. Are there any of these that are better than getting Vivian? Like is Karn better than Vivian for our opponent? Probably. Thanks Minasar. Um. Yeah, Karn is better than Vivian for the opponent, but it's it's similar in nature. I, I need to get the counter magic out of their hand anyway, so I can start resolving these things. I do think that Karn's better than the Vivian, so I think I, I kind of helped the opponent out. But we got we have to get those counter magic out of their hand so we can uh, be playing these things. I battle for the forces of good. Good choice. I guess next turn... The following turn I could have cast like Karn plus... Tezzeret. I have nine mana here. They would have to be worried about if they took if they took the Vivian to kill the Escanta, they would have had to been worried about um, Tatiova attacking their Vivian. Which it's not really seeming like they have the removal spell for Tatiova right now. It's possible our opponent's just kinda of chilling with some cast downs in hand. Uh, they did surveil over one cast down previously. No, they would have had an answer to, to Tatiova previously. This will aid us. Tatiova. Alright, so they are tapped out. We can find Teferi. Yeah, so I'm gonna find Teferi. Ugh.
least we've gone through a lot of the deck. Well chosen. I got that plug fixed. That that subscription plug. We're not doing so bad. Escanta is probably kind of better than Karn, like overall. There's Teferi. I don't really think our opponent has a counter spell, but it looks like maybe I'm wrong. I. Oh, dang, they did. I didn't think they had a counter spell for how they tapped out with the contempt the previous turn. You may regret that choice. Hmm. Get their own Tezzeret. No, don't tap my Ascanta. Silly duck. Another counter spell, maybe looks like maybe another syncopate. Yeah, so they're gonna syncopate for five. Um, I'll just pay the five. Sure, I don't get to ask can't activate as Kanta, but we get a Shalai on the battlefield. Yeah, you know, like that's just as good as activating as Kanta once, or better. What was lost is now returned. Alright, they can't have another counter spell, right? I have constructed your do of course. I, have I want to cast a really big druidic now. vow. I can do Druidic Vow for six and play around Syncopate for three. Or I could just play Tristani and activate Escanta. I'm gonna go five, so I can still activate Ascanta. No, Drake Cloud for six will activate Ascanta also. No, don't just tap the Ascanta. All right, I guess we'll just cast this Tristani. Master of Machines. It is the ideal subordinate. Auto tapper strikes again. Yes, yeah, so I didn't go max Val. I went six, so I could still so I could play around yet another syncopate if they had you know a third one. Um. Uh, why did I need to play Tristani before attacking Karn? Still would have attacked, you know, we had lethal on Karn. 
four, five, six, seven, eight. I will get all of these things. Thank you. Eight for eight. So we got three lands, a Nez Sertros Kanta, a Rafka Fashion, a Dovin, a Karn, and a Teferi. How fast is the opponent going to um, concede? Loss will either be a tragedy or comedy of errors. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing me a favor. Too many. Let's skip to the good part. Um. How convenient! An excellent choice. Oh, I guess I need to worry about decking myself. I'm at at eleven cards. Too many voice lines said at the same time. I learned a few tricks on Kaladesh. All right, so they can block the Shalai. I mean, sorry, they can bounce the Shalai and block the Tristani. All right, the, less, the rest of my library is just really bad, so I guess I, I do need to win with just these things here. Getting punished for not paying the two life on that shock land, I would be able to uh, flash a lie back in. One step behind. Okay. Um, we still have the ability to, to flash in Shalai if our opponent has a removal spell. Um, okay, that doesn't target anything. Let's bounce this to Fairy. Uh, Tristani does not get your Karn back. Tristani can only get creatures back. Just gonna keep everything on the lib on top of the library. We only have ten cards left. I won't hide from the world any longer. You need to slow down. Evil cannot withstand a right. Oh, that got my blood pumping. Silent, obedient perfection. All right, attack. Raph, attack there. Y'all attack here. Still got there. Didn't didn't mill ourselves out. We came close. Um, so they're playing a lot of counter spells and stuff. Counter spells discard. Get rid of the ruinous blast. Let's get these negates in here. Um, we'll get some nezzies as well. Take out Lyra. Um, this is 62. Hmm. What else do I want to take out? I 
Maybe put in this other Tristani. Hmm. That's 63 now, though. I kind of like this 63. Um, Isolate is against mono blue in particular, but then also mono white and mono red. Um, and Drake's with Terramander. No, Amara is awesome. Definitely like Amara a lot. I could see kind of taking out Land War Elves. They'd get eaten up by some sweepers. It's kind of weird, though. Maybe one of these... I'll take out one Druidic Vow um, against the Counterspell deck. Like, we, you know, we have to have, like, the, the, the permanent already in play. Um, I like Vivian. Grow Spiral and Land War Elves. I'm going to trim on these a little bit. And take out two Elves. Still have the two in there. I feel like it'll get swept up by some Sweepers and stuff. I think all the Planeswalkers are good, I think. Um, I, think I don't want to take out any of the Planeswalkers. They're all good at generating card advantage. You know, some more than others, but good at generating value, which is what, what we want against a control deck. Yeah, and Dovin's good against Eldest Reborn. Making that body. I guess that's kind of the best thing that, that Land War Elves does is some Eldest Reborn protection. Mm -hmm. The MTG bot just mentioned Quip there. Quip's a new sponsor of the stream. I'm going to spend some time talking about Quip here after this league. Brand new sponsor starting today. Is got all the stuff set up. Um, really nice electric toothbrush. And if you uh, sign up uh, with Quip, uh, it's the same as supporting this stream for an entire year. If you'd like to help support the stream. Yeah. See, you don't need four elves. All you need, you know, you can just have two elves. You easily get the... You still have the elves on turn one. You don't need all four of them. For that. Ooh, the Wrath Capacian. Land drop? Okay, they got one. So now we don't have to worry about other Thought Erasures. They can't Thought Erasure us with Shalai in play. That's pretty cool. I think this is like the point like where our opponent just kind of starts holding up some counter spells. So I'm not actually planning on casting Tatiova or Teferi next turn. Um, just going to attack for four and pass back until my opponent does stuff. All right, two nails, good luck in that draft. Um, we saw them with quite a bit of syncopates the previous game, so that's like a card to have in mind and play around. All right, they ditched the Thought Erasure and the Moment Grading. Eight cards in the library? Or eight cards over there? All right, so they tapped out. Let's play Teferi. Let's get rid of this search for Escanta. Right on schedule. Time is much more malleable than people think. That Escanta is going to flip, get him a land, all that kind of stuff. Let's get that out of there. 
This will be over quickly. You know what? I'm not done yet. Thanks, Axian. A lucky shot. See so yeah, how their opponent tapped out again. So then I play Tatiova since they're tapped out again. And start getting the value that Tatiova provides. I believe Blue Black, their main sweeper is probably Ritual of Sit. Um, you know, not killing Shalai or Tatiova with those. I know what yeah, this deck is fun. And all of our decks today, you know, we're playing four different Legends variants. They're all fun. You know, like, just kind of playing some, you know, a bunch of, you know, like, basically a bunch of Mythics. A ton of Planeswalkers and cool creatures and things like that. Um, yeah, this is going to be a fun day today, playing these Legendary decks. And we'll kind of see which one we like the, the most at the end of the day. We need to move quickly. Um, one, two, three. Let's just attack with this. We'll keep land werewolves back to be able to play Amara. I look forward to seeing your example mistakes. of my genius. Let's see how you <laughs> no, not a 12 hour stream. Uh, just a normal, normal link stream where, you know, we'll play these four decks from 3 to 10 today. Uh, you know, we'll see if it goes a little longer, if these games take a little longer, you know, it may go a little longer. Okay. Picked up a win. Restarted this Bant Legends deck. Of course, you know, we went we went 0-2 uh, first. We had a uh, bunch of unfortunate things happen. We restarted the league and just got a win on our new league. So we are now 1-0. Hey, what's up, Contreras? So that's why it's like the one the one match so far, even though so it shows it's one match, even though it's already almost 4.30. Oh, sorry, Holy Avatar, I missed your question earlier, saying, is it really worth it to run Isolate over Baffling End? Um, so, I am an Urza's Ruinous Blast deck, and so playing a card like Baffling End, um, if we Ruinous Blast away the Baffling End, they get their... Uh, they get, like, the Dino and everything. So I, I don't really want enchantment removal in the deck. All right, this is looking pretty good for us here with having... This is, like... Blast is like our best card in this matchup, so we get to we get to like end step a Raf Capacitor, untap Blast. We really do not want our opponent to have Vivian, because you know Vivian does not get exiled by Blast. Want them to have kind of anything else, but not Vivian. I could also just play Tezzeret and take up Tezzy. But it's kind of it's kind of risky because um, it's pretty easy for them to would be to just kill the Tezzeret. Like if they just kill the creature, swing in with these things at Tezzeret. Oh, 
Oh, I should chump block with a land war elf. I should have just chump blocked there. We don't need both of them. We only need one of them. Well, that's not so bad. We get to play the Ruinous Blast. I don't think our opponent's going to have a counter spell. Subordinate. Alright, so we didn't get the Chupacabra also. Draw card? No, let's make another thought here. My device is finished. As are you. Um again playing that gross spiral main phase because we could we could draw a landware off to play. Hey, what's up, Eddie? Find another Runa's Blast. Are you? That card's pretty good. I made you a gift. That can help stabilize. It's not super likely they have another removal spell for it. Um, be streaming at least till 10 o'clock. Like, like always, 3 to 10. Cold logic will always win. Hmm. Cool. Yeah. Go play some basketball. Have some fun there. I'll be here. Basketball. <laughs> really want to find our other Urza's Ruinous Blast. I was a little too far behind and had to fire it off pretty early, unfortunately. Hey, Techstar. Yeah, Hawkeye's back there. I learned a few tricks on Kaladesh. The good news is they're... I do like that their folly is gone, and so they can't get Carnage Tyrant or Chupacabras back. I, I do like that. I don't like that though. I didn't live through hell to lose to this is nothing. Ah. 
Need to, I want to keep Amara alive. Um. Perfect. Love it. Sorry, token. Get those out all out of there. So now Amara can attack Vivian. Ah, not again. <clears throat> And that's it. Opponent scoops it up. Man, Ruinous Blast is really good, especially in this matchup. So we're going with all four here. So we got all four in the deck. Um, I'm taking Vivian out. It doesn't do a whole lot for us. Um, and I don't necessarily love, love Tristani. Or like Tatiova. Tatiova doesn't match up too well here. But it may be kind of easier to untap with a Tatiova. Isolates for Mono Blue. Um, let's see. I feel like I should be taking out either the Tristani or the Tatiova. I don't want any more Shalize or Liras. Don't love those cards. Dovin, maybe it's, maybe it's Dovin actually. Yeah, Dovin dies really easily. I want whatever legendary card I have, I want it to be on the battlefield. I want it to be able to survive and us be able to blast, and Dovin doesn't really survive. So yeah, I'll, I'll trim a Dovin. <laughs> That's the hard part, is having your your creature or planeswalker survive, being able to untap with them in order to blast. All right, so basic island means the harbor and the fortresses can come into play untapped, but the grove does not. So let's start with grove. All right, good. No L for the opponent. Want them to have the slower hand, because I, I don't want them to be able to kill Karn on their turn five. So I want them to have a slow hand. So, no explore creature? That'd be really nice. Alright, so that's four power. <laughs> These are not the times to be drawing vows and blasts. Alright, untapping with the Planeswalker is going to be really tough. No, I haven't seen that deck at all. A curious choice. There was somebody yesterday telling me to play Dovin's Acuity. But I hadn't seen it previously. I will endure. Yep. And we're dead. Opponent did not have the slower hand. Yes, Ruinous Blast is my only sweeper.
You're playing Bant Wilderness Acuity March combo. How is Acuity any combo? Yeah, I'm not sure what the combo is, but it just seems, but yeah, it's a, I don't know. Wilderness Reclamation is just not for me. I, I just don't like any Wilderness Reclamation decks, honestly. Just not a card I like. I was unable to cast Urza's Ruinous Blast. Sadly, did not work out. It would have been perfect there, but you have to have a legendary. You know, it's it's a it's an unbelievably powerful card, but it has like the downside of you needing you need to have the legendary creature and or planeswalker on the battlefield in order to sorry, I'm, um, I'm not take advantage of it. Yet. So not not just any permanent. It's got to be a creature or planeswalker. So you can't even have like a search for Iskanta on the battlefield. Alright, gonna just slow him down, just tucking that Wild Growth Walker, because now the Wild Growth Walker is gonna be a pretty bad card to to draw after they play like their other explore things. Hold that thought. There's no accounting for So I know I could have Maybe yours will hold. I could have played the Dovin at instant speed, but playing Dovin at instant speed doesn't usually do a whole lot for you. I really should have seen that coming. All right, Raft does its thing. Gobble that up. We'll get a bunch of loyalty counters on this Dovin. This tech gimmick is worth it. So Dovin's up to seven. We will be able to ultimate Dovin next turn unless they have another contempt. Which isn't super likely. They already used one contempt. Hopefully they don't have another. Um on Sarah's wings, you would need to You would need to have like a lot of you need to have like a lot of like creatures and everything that you want that enchantment. All right, good job, Devin. This would work. Give me Again, some better cards. I am proven right. I'll take this Karn. This is Kanta, and I guess a Lyra. Um. So I can go Lyra plus Karn. Um, or as Kanta plus Karn. And be able to have three blockers back to protect Karn. I'll make use of that later. Yeah, on Sarah's Wings can turn a, a land war off into being legendary, but it's, it's just not a very strong card on its own. That's the, the thing about these decks are, are, like, the cards on their own are all pretty good. Um, of course, the legendary sorceries do require the, you know, they're not very good on their own, I suppose, but... Block with this elf, too. Might as well get that thing out of here. Yeah, green is Kamal's Juridic Vowing for us. And also ramping. Um, Nothing is ever truly lost. 
you know, we have we have green mostly for the early turns, for land of War elves, grow spiral, things to do in the, the first few turns. Because otherwise Um Otherwise, you know, we're gonna be way too slow. You are acting unwisely. I will return. Oh, they have find finality. That was the problem with me killing the Chupacabra. I don't really want to play the Lyric yet. Because it shoots. So let's just kind of sit back. Um, wait for some more help. They're keeping find? Interesting. Because we could find like a blast and be able to play the Lyra and the blast. Point taken. All right, this should buy us even more time. You you know, of course they get to Chupacabra with the Lyra, but this should buy us a good amount of time for our Ezcanta to take over. Our, our two Ezcantas, the search and the the sunken run. Have to have a again to be able to cast Urza's Ruinous Blast. You have to have a legendary creature or planeswalker on the battlefield. So we have to have the Lyra on the battlefield. I am the choices we make reveal who we are. Do I have to worry about decking ourselves, honestly? So they're down two contempts. Please stop. Time has come. Hmm. I don't know. This is maybe just completely unnecessary on my part. It's like finality kills my stuff. Hmm. Uh, just a shalai. Alright, so gone through two blasts now. What are, what are you even egoing? I'm really glad they didn't finality. I get to pump the Shalai. Alright, so I do want to pump Shalai. That's one, two, three, four, five, six mana. Then we have one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four.
You have no place in my <laughs> plan. choice. I can, I can at least pump Shalai above finality. I already played a land. Great. This will keep an eye on you. Auto tapper. Killing me. They may want to just find back two chupacabras, honestly. I'm just gonna kill my opponent. I think I attack Karn, whatever. We get Unmoored Ego away to Fairy. It's fine with me. But they're at 11. And they're. Like. They have to cast Finality, otherwise they're dead. I am proud to have bought. So they they kill the Raf, my the token, and their two creatures. Or I guess they can get back Chupacabra with find and cast Chupacabra. That's true, Jade Light wouldn't have died. So with only 15 cards left in the library, kind of need to keep all of our stuff. Our master builds with ease. Oh, I should have done this first before making that token. Duh. I just kind of hastily made that token. Should not have made that token yet. I am not going to sit this one out. No time for a break. All right, so they're up five. I should have had lethal here. Should have. Ticked up the Tezzeret afterwards. Alright, so we still have a Shalai, a Tristani. I honestly don't know what they're going to say. Shalai, alright, they get my one Shalai from my library. I'm sure that was worth a card. Keep up the pace! Silent, obedient perfection. Do you really think you can keep up? My device is finished. Okay, let's just As put all this stuff out there. So here you go, opponent. What do you have for your draw step? And we finally got there. With the only 10 cards left in our library. Uh, we do have to just keep worrying about... Milling ourselves out. So I, I made a couple decisions that could have been a little bit better in there, but that's all right. I was playing fast and our deck's awesome. Yeah, we could have one to clear the mind. Start shuffling some stuff back in. Hmm.
I do like turn two search for us, Kanta. We're a 26 land deck, so we can probably draw some lands. Right, yeah, Urza's Ruinous Blast is just so, so good against Zoltai. We cast two of them that game. Uh oh. Temmer. Temmer. Should be another good Urza's Ruinous Blast matchup if we can get there. gonna hurt. Ow. Land. Not a land. Still not a land. Hey, yep, we got a full list of legendary decks today. Um, Bant and Esper, too, that we haven't played. Uh... Since RNAs came out. Esper I've never played before. Esper is new. Um, the big thing about Esper is we get Primeval's Glorious Rebirth. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing. Yeah, I got Kaya. Yeah, I got two two Kayas, two two Dovins in the Esper deck, a couple Izareths. So you actually have like some three mana cards there. <laughs> Thanks, Jane Gun. The stakes are clear now. Would you like to see what's left of Scala? We gotta find... Gotta find Urza's Ruinous Blast. Ugh. Raph would have been a lot better than Ascanta. Silent, obedient perfection. Looks really bad for us, though. Just in general. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ray Day Pinball. Thanks for resubbing there. The wrath. Of Scala. Yeah, maybe I just Val for three. We're not really hitting anything except for lands. That's certainly an option. Because Shalai just, just dies to the Vivian, which is the problem with playing the Shalai there. Where are they... What are they shocking and un... Like, what are they doing? Explosion? Huh. Probably do need to just play this card for three. Just get some more lands out there. I could just play, you know, Search plus Dovin. Search plus Dovin's not really getting me very far, though. I 
I don't know what our opponent's doing here with this this whole shock thing. But that Druidic Vow did work out. I learned a few If I draw a talent. card Dream Eater. If I draw instead of doing the Thopter Um I was worried that I'd be taking a lot of damage. Because they would just be able to like send the Jade Light at, at the Tezzeret and then like attack me for a bunch. Um Of course them having like the Dream Eater does make it lethal, so. Hey, track team. Sunday's going pretty good. All right, let's get our extra blasts. Extra Shalai, Lyra, Tristani, all some defensive cards here. Knight of Autumn's really not that bad. It's just like a three mana, four, three. I think it's going to do more for us than like a Dovin will, for example. I want Vivian out of here. I want... Tesseret's not very good. Now there's Dovin. This curve is... It's just too high. Isolates for mono blue. <laughs> Every single game that we've sideboarded, people have asked about isolate. It's for mono blue um, for the most part, but also mono red, mono white. Hey, Stens Ball. We will take a Tez out. Putting down that Wrath Compassion ended up, like, putting the Wrath Compassion in our graveyard ended up hurting me quite a bit. Tezzeret is good at surviving, and it is it is kind of easy to untap with Tezzeret, which is the main pull to it. Like, we need to be able to untap with our creatures and Planeswalkers, of course, um, to be able to cast versus Ruinous Blast. And Tezzeret, in particular, is a card that is pretty easy to untap with. Um, by the time I can play, the same turn I can play Shauna, I, I could play Shalai anyway, so... Like, next turn I can just play Shalai. Drawing Glacial Fortress is really nice. That's our second white source for Lyra. Alright, no more lands deck. They're down to five. If they play Vivian and kill Shalai, Lyra kills them. There we go. All right, easy win. Turn three, Shalai. Turn four, Lyra. I can do it.
Well, that's a quick win. Yeah, that was nice and clean. Do need a second white source for Lyra, but I'm still gonna just ship that to the bottom. I'll look for something else to do in the meantime. Glad I shipped that to the bottom. Now our next card was a white source anyway. Glad our opponent hasn't done anything yet, because our hand's really slow. I'm glad they haven't been doing anything. I would like to just draw like growth spiral, honestly. Sure, they get the card advantage, but their creature is only a 2-1. I don't really mind them having the card advantage, honestly. 2-1 doesn't kill you nearly as fast as a 4-3 does. Our previous opponent was just playing Sultai. Sultai has just kind of replaced Golgari. Um... Yeah, there is no 1-4. through four. Turn five only. I think it's a better shot that Tristani, that we untap with Tristani than we untap with Lyra. And obviously we draw our early card on turn five. You know, like we could have just drawn this like any of the previous four turns. So we could have just had this out there. Nope, gotta wait till turn five. Thanks, deck. Play a Gruel Spellbreaker and a Jade Light or something like that. Um, certainly feels like Counter Magic. I guess it could be Dream Eater again. I bet this is probably Dream Eater. So I'm getting another legendary creature into play. If I play Teferi, Teferi dies. So if I play Blast, I only get the Krasis. I want to wait on the Blast. It's not good for us. Man, that dream mirror has been really annoying. If I play Lyra and they have removal for Lyra, I die. They, they play a bunch of haste creatures, though. I guess I'm probably just dead. I think that's still a better option, though. Than anything else. Uh, 
Um, I don't, I don't have any. So about the the new Mulligan rule uh, that's going to be tried out in London. Um, basically, what you said is is my thoughts. Also, um, I'm really worried about it for eternal formats and everything. But I I, I would want to play with the the rule before having like any kind of concrete uh, decisions about it. I've lost so much already. So we need Sometimes to find specifically um, Amara. We need exactly Amara. Okay, never mind. They just have a lightning strike to kill us. That Dream Eater was awesome for them both games. All my cards are so expensive. All right, two and one. And being on the draw where we didn't have anything to do before turn five was just too slow. Alright, this is better. We actually have something to do earlier. Got the growth spiral. And we're on the play, so that helps too. But yeah, we we didn't keep that hand like we didn't keep the seven, you know, we mulligan to six and we just kinda had that six of some lands and Lyra and Blast. But even with the scry and everything, we didn't get to find anything to do early, unfortunately. Um, I don't know exactly how to find your vault progress. You can there's like a YouTube video that can show you how to do it. It's somewhere in your um, some in your files on your computer. I, I don't know exactly how to find it. That would have been a little better for us. If it have been a little better for us if they um, would have hit some spells with Lap the Stage, they wouldn't have been able to play all of them. So I really didn't, like, I could have played the Wrath Capacitor and blocked a Firebrand, but I didn't want them just to shock the Wrath Capacitor. I really wanted to have the, um, the ability to flash in something here. Um, we're playing a league where if we win five matches or lose two matches, whichever one of those happens first. Um, so right now we're two and one, so if we pick up another loss, then we're done. Or if we win, we get to move on. So that's what we're doing for each deck. Could have just used their firebrand. Attack. Get that lifelink in. I guess they want to keep their firebrand alive though. So the, the one Raph, like our Raph traded with two shocks and a firebrand. That's a pretty good trade. Traded with, you know, three cards. That's pretty nice. Hey, what's up, Night Owl? Happy Sunday.
Lyra is probably gonna trade with a couple of cards. Ooh, risk factor. That's not very good against eight power or lifelink. Nice, you rolled people with nine legends. Awesome, Rankler. Way to go. Perfect, yeah. Yeah, that deck is a lot of fun. That's the deck that we'll be finishing the stream with tonight. I think that's the the best of the, the Legends decks. But this is my first time playing the band. Um, you know, just made this deck recently, and then it'll be the first time to play uh, Esper as well. Beasts are much more reliable than humans. You can't stop nature. I think I can afford to pay two life to play Search for Scanty here. Yeah, we're back up to 20. This is not where you want risk factor. All right, Lyra, Shalai, Isolate, um, Tristani, Knight of Autumn, Negate. Actually, let's let's go a little more. All right, what if we cut all these? That's fifty-nine. Last time we played against Monterey, I didn't cut the vows, but I actually think it's probably better to cut Druidic Vow. Um, I do need to be worried a little bit about enchantments. So I think I want to play either Teferi or Vivian for enchantments. I'm going to play the Vivian, actually. Last time I played the Teferi, but we can tick up and get like all these like good creatures with Vivian as well. And so I'm going to go with full-on negate uh, and try this. Yeah, this seems like a good plan. Once I won the store championship with the Eldrazi red deck I saw on the stream. Nice. Yeah, I remember that deck. Um, mono red Eldrazi. That was a pretty fun one. That was stand yeah, standard with like handware handware battlements and handware garrison and stuff. Also. Yeah, they could be playing Frenzy. They could be playing uh, Flame of Keld. I've been seeing a lot more Flame of Keld recently. Good hand. Land where else helps this one out. Good spot in the curve. Already get to flash in Wrath Capacitor next turn. Hey, there you go. We have another person that won their old GS Store Championship with Mono Red Eldrazi. Nice. Yeah, I missed me some Eldrazi. Miss me some Todd Not Seers. Done a lot of winning with that card. Even That's why I got the emote. I think we got this one. I think. We'll see what our opponent has, though. Our previous Mono Red player that we played was really slow as well. If you're just kind of tuning in, we, we did play a really quick league um, and win 0-2. We, we lost to Mono Red and to Iza Drakes, um, but it was real fast, so uh, went and rejoined. 
an hour or two on. Okay, we don't have it yet. So I could play Shalai, and then my opponent cannot cast Risk Factor if I just play the Shalai. Um, but I think being able to flash in the, sh the Shalai, or like flash in Wrath and flash in Shalai and stuff like that is a little better. Good chain whirler. Frenzy. Well, now with the frenzy, of course, we can just let our opponent um, draw cards with the risk factor. Well, I guess they're not even going to be able to play because I'm playing this at Shalai next turn. I can give them enough burn spells to kill Shalai, though. Uh, Frenzy can, potentially. So, don't love where we're at. Shalai, while Shalai's great, Frenzy's in just incredible. Yep, time to start pumping these life linkers. Make it harder for them to kill Shalai as well. Oh yeah, Via Shino on the top would be nice. Okay. Attacking with chain whirlers, huh? Block one here. Do I want to double block another? I mean, I can just I can just do this block because Tristani is protected by Shalai. So now it's just whether we want to go to five or if we want to double block. Um, I think I'll just just go to five. Let's attack. I'm not saying. But I could just take all this and go to one. Hmm. Maybe just attack with the four fours. Definitely want to gain the 8 life. Ooh, took it both. I, th I think they should have blocked one of those. Because now Shalai can kill them next turn. Because, um, you know, pupping Shalai makes it 7 power. So, like, I'll have 7 in the air next turn. So I think they, they should have chumped one of those. Heh. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's my favorite card in the deck. It's not the win yet. They could still potentially kill Shalai. Uh, with the extra mana from Steamkin and everything. It's going to be incredibly hard for our opponent to win, but it's not quite game yet. We're going to have to hit really, really good here. <laughs> that is not hitting good. Alright, that may be it. They have to get, like, a lot of shocks. You know, like, they had three mana. They hit, like, you know, three or four shocks in a row. Um, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just, just go to three. Block the Steamkin so that once they use the mana for Steamkin, they their mana's gone. So they have four total mana. So with their four total mana, they have to have seven points of burn to kill Shalai with four mana. It's not easy. Nah, definitely not blocking with Shalai. That, that can do it. That one can do it. Okay, now, so now they still have four mana. Didn't quite get there, though. Thanks, King Toll. Okay, we are three and one. Moving on. That was a good match. That was a real good match. All right, Bant Legends, keep it going. The Mavs traded DeAndre Jordan to the Knicks in the... He was part of the Kristaps Porzingis deal. Uh, the Knicks wanted him because his uh, he was just on a one-year contract, so... Uh, there's a lot of salary that comes off the books this year for them to pursue free agency. Hopefully Ruinous Blast is good against our opponent. We have two Blasts in the main deck. They're both in our hand here. Hmm. Yeah, he's okay. Really good at rebounding, not very good at defense. He's older in his career now. Um, just kind of doesn't care about his defense as much as he used to. Um, certainly knows about like the advanced defensive metrics and everything, and so plays the game in a way that he'll look good on advanced me metrics. Let's see if you're worthy. Let's get the Tristani. All right, really hope our opponent does not have uh, the haste three, the three mana three three haste creature. Okay, good. Not three mana three three haste creature. For me, it's just business as usual. Yeah, it's kind of weird how yeah they they had the okay, so you deal fail a couple years ago and then they still resigned him. I've seen things that would break. They just didn't like have. Kind of needed him just um. In general, like uh, for like the center position. Don't really have anything better. <laughs> now you're getting the spirit. <laughs> you're gonna hurt when this is through.
Let's do this again. Hmm. Go for five. Dove in Karn. I Let us begin. Are you on your impending failure? Ooh, give me the Amara. Aw, oh, dang, they gave me the land. My blood pumping. I think I'm going to give my opponent a little bit more chance to play some more creatures before I blast. Um, you know, I do have the two blasts. <laughs> a little pick me up before the real fun begins. Yeah, Druidic Vow is really awesome. See, you get to play that Carnage Tyrant. Um. Goodbye, everybody. Just kind of gain four life here before blasting. I think that's better than just dealing one damage. Let's slow this not so fast. Get that thing out of here. I can benefit from another success. Man, Urza's Runa's Blast is nice. But so is Druidic Vow. Just our deck. Quite nice. Alright, Vivian can do Let's some stuff. That, that does put that... Um, you know, we knew about that Domri. That does put that Domri down to the bottom of the library. Hurry! Oh man. Oh man. Well chosen. Not just a gadget, but ingenuity. Do I even need to attack Vivian? Or should I just put some more loyalty counters on Dovin? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh, I wasted those two lands I could untap. I could have just grow spiraled. Um No one knows the wilds fairy. like I do. It's not too good of a card. When you have like the Planeswalkers in play, you're usually doing fine anyway. You don't really need more help once you have Planeswalkers in play. I don't know. I think it's I think it's a Tristani bug. Sorry, token. You're doing me a favor. Oh, say hello to my. Little you know what? Friend. I'm not done yet. So I think it's I think it's some bug with Tristani Every that like does like has the, the creatures go up and back like at the end step. 
No, I don't have any Mox Opals anywhere. Or Mox Ambers. Um, yeah, no, no Mox Ambers. I've tried that card to start with in, in these decks, but it's just unimpressive too often. Alright, so we're certainly getting the other two Ruinous Blasts in this matchup. Love that card here. Um, we'll trim a Vivian and... No, no Soul Tie Legends right now. There's definitely a lot of potential with Soul Tie Legends. Um, you get Moldrotha, which is awesome. The Isolate is for Mono Blue, Mono Red, and Mono White. <laughs> yep. Literally every single time we sideboard, people ask the question about Isolate. <laughs> Yargle. Yargle, Yargle, Yargle. Um... I'm going to trim one vow. We're adding in these extra legendary sorceries um, with the blasts. So I'm going to take out one vow. We could get ran over. It'll be a little harder on five cards, though. Five win dream is still alive. This one is looking good to go to game three? Question mark? Kind of good? I don't know. Pono's got a Growth Chamber Guardian. That card's cool. Surrounded by lesser minds. Um, so yeah, let's see if we can get to the final boss fight. I was inspired by a good assault. All these temple gardens. I'm just going to kill this Growth Chamber Guardian. Um, maybe go to Fairy, tuck the next one, tuck this other one. Even with my insight, I didn't foresee this. Of course, tucking Growth Chamber Guardians isn't really ideal because they can just get them back. Reverse. Um. That's not good. Let's skip to the good part. Hmm. You know, debating between playing Wrath and, and Karn. You may regret that choice. And we're also a pretty good one to to hit. Um, any tips for new players? Um, just always try to learn um, don't don't this try to get caught up in wins and feet. losses and um, and everything like that like don't don't think oh I'm only getting better if I'm winning more kind of thing 
Magic is just a, a game about learning as much as you can. Um, Your patience is rewarded. All the time and and improving in that sense. And so I think that's that's a good place for your focus to be. No lands. There goes a blast and my second vow. Look at all this nature. I made you a gift. Look at all this nature. <laughs> as, as if there's just like a bunch of nature around. All right, so that's their fourth guardian. Yeah, definitely go into like F and M's. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, like what kind of what kind of line is that anyway? Look at all this nature. <laughs> I point to a dead leaf on the ground. I do not feel pain. The choices we make reveal who we are. A master builds with ease. I, I kind of like so I wanted to shock and play land war off there But shocking just kind of tells my opponent that something's up I don't really want them to know that something's up Yeah flashing in Lyra is pretty epic pretty epic Plus, if, if we're gonna just, if we just want to Urza's Ruinous Blast, that other land where Elf would just get exiled anyway. Return. Dang it. I meant to cast, use that land where Elf. Doesn't really matter though. It is the ideal support. Oh, right. I have Wrath. It's instant speed. I should have waited. They'd play like some haste creature or something. Could have instant speed that. Doesn't really matter. They're just very dead. All right. We are four and one. Gonna go fight the final boss. Here we go. Let's get our final bow final boss music. Final battles. Music going. Dun 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 dun. So are we going to, are we going to get there? We're we going to get to the five win plateau, or are we taking the L and going to four four and two? No extra lives. I've already used it. After this, I do have a new, a brand new stream sponsor to talk about. Yeah, okay. New stream sponsor after this. It's not a, not a bounty, um, but like an actual sponsor for the stream um, that you can find information down below. Quip and talk about quip toothbrushes. Is our opponent playing Drakes? Hmm. Oh, I don't want to see my own 
Hey, KRS. KRS YW with the sub. Thank you so much for that subscription. Really do appreciate that. That is sub number five on the day, so we'll be cracking a pack open after this as well. For the most part, from like, you know, polling viewers and everything, people said they that they don't really like These the Twitch chats on the screen. Not to be uh, like, repeated. like to be able to see everything on the screen. Um, Oh, it's a, is that a, a different overlay, not just the Twitch chat? This overlay shows the opponent's play before it shows on the screen. I'm not sure what you mean there. I really don't know what you mean there. All right, hopefully Lyra can get it done for us. Go, Lyra, go. Oh, Deckmaster. Okay, you're talking about Deckmaster. It shows the card on the field before they actually get played. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. I did not know that. Ooh, a battle. I'm all tingly. <laughs> Hope we get something good. Ral is going to be a difficult one for us to be. Ruinous Blast? No. Do I just need a Tuck Ral? I can no longer. Let's take it back. I don't know. I think I'm gonna do that. All right. So they're making sure they get. To to draw the the Rowl next turn. Problem is, if they have Dive Down, I can't block if they have Dive Down. So at least we know they don't have Dive Down because they're not attacking. Ruinous Blast. Ruinous Blast. Hurry! That's a good card. We can play around Spell Pierce too. <laughs> All right, they cast down their own creature. They wanted to get the spell, so th like that gets the spell in their. Um, that does get the spell in their. Um, in their graveyard, so that Ral's minus can kill Lyra. That's what they were doing there. The Sunday has been legendary, absolutely. I've perfected the perfect storm. Supercharged energy equals. Wait, you can't hear the music at all? Oh boy. Here, let's draw a card, see if we hit a land drop. Land drop. Keep up the pace. Dang. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I wish I would have had to just, just had that. Which I would have had that Tezzeret on top to be able to put into play. Ah, uh, no, another Vow is going to the bottom. Or it's going to the graveyard, I mean. Until you have lived as a statue, I'll make use of that laser. 
Oh yeah, Breeding Pool is definitely a good card to put in a, in a DAP deck. Absolutely. Okay, y'all can hear it. Okay, good. Oh, come on. I just yeah, because like your adapt deck, killing me. Um, usually the adapt spells are blue and green, and so you'll want breeding pool. No time for a break. Action is needed. All right, playing Tatiova first, so we can draw a card. <laughs> Tatiova, too strong. Tatiova, that's the final straw. Exile all my creatures. That's fine. Play a big Druidic vow that puts in a couple Planeswalkers or whatever. That's fine. Tatiova, no. You can't can't beat the Tatiova. Um We did lose to Izzet Drakes earlier. Ra I mean, Niv Mizzet's the card that we just can't beat, really. Like Niv Mizzet's incredible. I mean we can't beat it, but it's, it's difficult. We have like a Vivian and two Teferis for it. So that's the card that we hope they don't have. Um, last time I th think I cut the Amaras, because they just play a bunch of shocks. I think I'm not too happy with Dovin, though. Um. Maybe actually just cut these ground creatures that die to coil, Tristani and Tatiova. Play this extra Lyra for a Dovin. There we go. Oh yeah, we brought in Nezahal, that's right. That's what we did last time. It didn't really help us because they just killed us with flyers while we had like this ground creature. That's the thing about Nezahal is it costs so much mana. You know, cost seven mana, and then it doesn't block any of their flyers or anything. Yeah, this deck would probably work in best of one. I haven't played a ton of best of one, but it would probably work. That, yeah, that means you're a subscriber, having that tie next to your name. Um, if you didn't subscribe yourself, uh, you may have gotten... Then, well, you would have. If you didn't subscribe yourself, then you got a gifted sub from somebody. Previously. Okay, yeah, you subscribed? Yeah, so then, yep, that's, that's what it means. So yeah, subscribe and gets you that awesome tie. No, I like all my cool cards. Bad opponent. <laughs> he thought it was a light tower? <laughs> yeah, maybe I need to make that illustration a little better. Yeah, the breeding the breeding pool uh noise like the noise for breeding pool is just kinda unnecessary. Yeah, they're playing Drake, like Grixis Drakes. They had Thought Erasure, they had Cast Down. I guess they have Iron Eyes. I suppose. I 
I do not get to play Lyra because I don't have two white sources. Yep, you're here in the Todd family with that tie. <laughs> move. A move. I kind of feel like our opponent has another counter spell. Um, so I'm going to just activate Shalai on end step, but I'm kind of like. Um, not really letting them know that that's all I'm going to do. But I guess they, they may just have like a bunch of spells they can't cast with only their three mana. Maybe they have just a bunch of Crackling Drakes and Rowls and Niv Mizzets and things like that. So. That will do it. Final boss defeated. 2100 gold, a couple of rares from M19 that we already owned. And after going 02 02 with uh, Bant Legends, we went ahead and uh, ran it back and went 5 1. So, yeah, it worked out pretty well. Final boss down. Karn Temporal Sundering is certainly a consideration. You know, you just have to make cuts somewhere and everything. And um, I've played this deck before with it. Um, I do like Temporal Sundering with Wrath, how you can, like, flash in Wrath. And I at the time, I had, like, Mox Amber, too. I'd, like, flash in Wrath and then untap and play Mox Amber and Temporal Sundering. But, yeah. So, yeah, we did tie. We tied that deck together really well. All right, so this was, this was definitely a fun legendary deck. We got three more fun ones here after this. Um, but we'll go ahead and get to that. We've been streaming for almost three hours now with this deck. So if you're watching this later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.